I mean, snowboarding is such a free form of expression in every you know sense of the word, and a lot of the who I am right now comes from that scene. And it's almost good that you're like weird, you know. I don't, I can't really pinpoint what I was doing at the time, but either it was like putting my face in my videos or snowboarding naked or you know whatever else it was you know it's it's kind of not everyone was doing it type of thing but it was like it was you kind of got praised if you did something like different and i think that's uh something that i kind of like carried through like you know my entire life and the more yourself you are the more you get like praised for it or like the more the more you benefit from it Welcome to Pack Heavy Chase Light, a series from DB about photographers, cinematographers, editors, and other creatives. It's Josh Zucker. I'm Louis Medeiros. My name is Timothy Meyer. I'm Oscar Kubacke. I'm Christopher. I'm called Benjamin Ortega. My name is Ola Stubre. For this episode, we have Olaf Stuprud. I think I said that right. It's unfortunate that we shot this when we did because we shot this back in May and since then Olaf has been doing a ton of stuff like he kind of always is. He's been doing things like shooting UFC fights. <laughs> I told you. Trying weird film processes at shows. And And then also he was a big part of releasing the new hard case rollers with DB at the EMA event. I think that's how you say it. I still think about the hard case idea. Yeah, me too. Olaf is nonstop. He's always trying stuff, always trying weird stuff, and you know he talks about that. He's he he tries a lot, and he tries to do a lot of cool, different things. And I mean, obviously, he's been really successful at it. This is also the last episode of season one of Pack Heavy Chase Light. We are doing a second season. However, season two will be for people outside of the photography and video world it's going to be you know creative directors we've got tattoo artists painters architects we're venturing out and welcome to the last episode of pack heavy chase light episode 12 with olav stuber i think olav stuber Jeg er en multiartist fra Norge, Rykken, nærmere bestemt. Jeg er 30 år ung, og jeg har foto som base i stort sett alt det jeg gjør. I usually travel with probably 10 cameras every time I go out the door. I usually bring a lot of cameras because I do photo and video usually, and then in my head, a certain situation or a certain job or a certain something has a specific look. And for me, that's a certain camera or a certain film type. <laughs> this is all taped up. This is a really handy, small Super 8 that I always kind of carry around. It's more like for memories, etc. I feel like I'm not the best advocate for just focusing on the story <laughs> but i do agree to just have one camera and get really good at it and just document everything and not really focus on the technical side for me i've been shooting for so long so i kind of like kind of need new cameras to like have a new challenge or to get a different look or to document something like differently so if i want to carry one video camera for sure the black magic uh, i do vlogs with it i do i do events i do tours yeah literally anything so i do have this one though. <laughs> it's a wipe and cloth uh, with my face on, yeah. One of my first ever lenses. And I brought it back because I have the EF mount on the 6K Pro. So this is actually a lens that I bought probably over 15 years ago, Pro like probably more. If you can see this, it's like literally, it's old skateboards has been hitting it for like years and years. 
it's a, it's a 15 fish eye. I feel like almost my attention span is even shorter than before. I get bored, you know, easily. Could be a gift and a curse for sure. Sometimes I like it. I, I drive off the momentum of something else. So like having a camera in my face and a, you know, this whole crew, it makes me feel good, you know? And that can bounce off to something else. So you kind of just overlap. Basically where I started, I started shooting when I was like 11. I started shooting everything basically. When I was like 13, I got my first like every camera, like real camera, DSLR, that kind of like shot everything up to a new dimension. So I got my first uh, photo published when I was 13, and that was also like a boost. And after that, it kind of just went from there. Like I literally started shooting snowboarding mainly. Wow. That was like where everything started, definitely. saying yes or no to a job. Uh, I feel like I've been having a good balance of like saying no to shit that I don't really care for, uh, even though it's a lot of money. But as for now, I'm doing a lot of projects that require uh, capital or whatever, and I'm funding most of their, all my shit myself. So I do say yes to jobs that I can make these amount of money so I can put it into something that I like. It's doing shit for the greater good. It's nothing wrong with doing that. I don't feel like it should be like advice, advice to like try to do everything, but it's like try to fail. It's like, it goes with anything. And the harder it is, the more appealing it is. I, I feel like I like stuff when it's like so far out and I feel like that's maybe why I don't shoot landscapes because it's right here. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, like the axis of it. Like I, you know, if I don't really know how to get there or, or how to do it, I like, I want to figure out how to do it. But every time you walk out the door, you learn. I just turned 30. And I couldn't be more excited to like make it to 30. Like I made it to 30 and I like, I feel wiser and more ready for shit than ever. And... I shot snowboarding this year and it was, uh, it was very pleasant. It was very good. I always try to shoot like at least one shoot, one shoot a year. I helped the uh, Beyond Metal guys. Shot a lot of analog, a lot of medium format analog uh, in the backcountry something that I've never done before. So I kind of found like a new challenge and a new output for that, so. That's some sick branches. That's a sick tree. This is some branch porn right here. Travel cheat codes. Well, like I do take helis sometimes. That's, a, that's actually a travel cheat code. Not that I can pay for helis everywhere, but when we do, that's definitely a cheat code. I carry a little note uh, because I forget a lot of things and because I'm I'm like this. So, diva shit, you know? If you don't ask, you don't get type of thing, so. iPhone actually became... That's, that, good. that's not Kodak Gold. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do Kodak Gold like that. No, I, I do shoot phone though, but... Um, it kind of just became like a more like a social media thing for like artists and stuff because people want like more casual stuff. They don't always want the nice blurry background shots, you know. So iPhone is definitely another format again that is coming back in that sense. La, 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 sound. Yeah, hey. My kind of um, child, my design uh, art child is, is something called Basic Biola. Uh, it's an art concept, it's a very visual world, 
It's a combination about with installations, photo art, AR, NFTs, merchandise, design. It's basically like a soup of everything that I have up here. Uh, my goal is to bridge the ultra digital with the ultra analog. Whatever that is up here, it will translate into what you see with basic. You called it pack, pack of light, yeah? Pack heavy light. Pack, pack heavy light, yeah? Oh, that, that was what it is. Yeah. So pack heavy travel light? Chase light. Chase light. To be honest, I thought it was something else. Too. <laughs> I did not think about like light as a, as a light, but more like a light. I'm packing dumb heavy every time I'm gonna chase anything. Chase good light forever. That's why I sat down right here because I knew the light would be better than over there. So. And we always chasing the good light, and we always late for a sunset. Always, can never be early enough for a sunset. <laughs>